Hello, hello. Um, for those of you that I did not scare off with my last read, um, <laughs> I wanted to do a quick like love read for you guys. Um, I don't know who I'm reading for, but hopefully it will connect and resonate with someone out there. Um, you can switch the genders and stuff in the story. Whatever fits your story, don't force it to, but if it does, fit it how it's meant to go. Okay. Okay. Father God, I ask that you come and be with me in this read, that you let nothing but love, light, and guidance come through, and that I connect with who I'm meant to connect with, and that their intuition picks up on it as well, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay. So we're going to see what's going up with your uh, love life right now. Okay. You've got ten of wands. I move my candle. Okay, you got Ten of Wands, and you've got the Nine of Wands underneath, okay? Ten of Wands says, oppression, voluntary challenges, okay? Nine of Wands says, defensive, endurance, and self-reliance, okay? So, you've gotten yourself in something. Um, you walked right into it, whatever it is. Uh, whatever obstacle that you're facing now, it was voluntary. You didn't have to, but you chose to, whoever you are. Okay, whatever this may be to you, whatever is weighing you down, um, you chose to take this defensive route. Okay, okay, Angel Michael, guide me. Four of Pentacles, holding on, guarded, and possessive. Okay, so something that you um, chose to do. Uh, was to hold on to something that wasn't serving you anymore. I don't know if this was a shadow part of yourself or if this was another person. But you chose to stay in some sort of energy, okay? Because you was possessive over that energy. You didn't want to let it go. So you chose to pick up all these uh, wands, okay? And it made you really defensive towards others because you knew... That what you were doing was not for your highest benefit. Okay, everyone else knew it too, but you wanted to be defensive, okay? Two of Pentacles, juggling, change, and adapt, okay? So you're having to learn how to let go, okay? This is all about holding on. This is all about letting go. So you're moving into a period of letting go. You're going to be able to let go of uh, past wounds easier. Um, you're just going to rise, man, like a phoenix, man. You're going to be transforming okay judgments karmic lessons resurrection what i tell you resurrecting uh spiritual awakening you were rising up phoenix from the ashes you were rising i wish i could find the um the king of uh wands in the stack is badass it looks like a phoenix like rising but i don't know where he is and i don't want to hold this up I don't know, maybe he'll show up somewhere. But yeah, he's badass, okay? He looks like he's coming up, like, out of the uh, ashes. It's it's really cool. Okay, the moon. Judgment in the moon. Uh, there's something that you have kept hidden from others, okay? I don't know what this is. Um, you've been secretive about something or another, okay? Uh, you've been trying to hide this transformation within yourself but people notice it more than you think okay they see it in you and that's why they keep fucking with you because they see you rising yeah the world you're ending cycles and they see that okay you see how in this card it's like it's like two polar opposites but in this it's like blended like it works together that's that's what it's like like you're getting your your inner self to work with your outer self okay you're it's all flowing in a balance, you know what I mean? You're you're learning to balance yourself out, okay? Two of swords, because you were not balanced. You were very mentally conflicted, okay? People had you blinded to the truth, okay? But you're a king of swords, so you came into the truth naturally, okay? You, you're, It's not going to take long for a king of swords to get the truth out of something, okay? When it came to these illusions that this um, magician was trying to cast on you, possibly, or... Uh, these illusions that you were trying to manifest in that were not uh, the correct 
things, maybe. Maybe you thought something was your manifestation, but it was not. You've still been manifesting. It may just not be in the way that you thought. Okay? Because you've been in conflict, so it's been difficult for you to know exactly what you're manifesting. But whatever it is, you're going to be happy with it. Page of Swords, yeah. Whatever it is, you're already watching it. Or the person, or whatever it is that you're manifesting in, you're already watching it. Yeah. I mean, you already see it, whatever it is. Okay. Like, um, like I said, you were confused about whatever it was, but you were still manifesting it in. But whatever it is, you've, you've seen it already. So, whatever it is, you've already seen it, okay? Whether you right now know what it is or if it's going to come into clarity later, you've seen it already somehow. Page of Pentacles. Maybe when you were studying something or learning about something... Uh, you may have been trying to learn about something new, study something new, and you came across this person or this thing. I don't know. But you've already seen it, whatever it is. Okay? It may not come in the form you thought it was going to come in, but it's coming regardless, and you're going to be happy. Yeah. Because right now you're single. And you're independent. Okay? Okay? Independent, self-sufficient, material security. You've got everything, okay? You have you have all that you need in order to usher in this person or this thing, okay? You're supplied, okay? It's the world, yeah, because you've closed out cycles already when it came to other things to where you can uh, be this way now, to where you can be open and um, ready to receive, okay? That's what that's about. Okay, five of pentacles, isolated, disconnected, lacking in loss. This is how you felt in the past um, a lot of your life. And this is why your karma is good. Because, like, the first half cycle of your life was shit. So your karma is good in the next cycle of it. Whatever that may be, okay? Uh, you're an empress, or you're going to have an empress. Um, meaning, uh, you may get married and have a child with someone. Okay, Empress usually represents pregnancies and fertilities and such. So you may move forward, or it may just be that you are birthing a new idea, okay, about something. If it isn't about love. Three of Wands, opportunities arising. So you're waiting on these opportunities to come in. You know they're on their way. Ace of Wands, yeah, you're excited about it. Drive. You've got a lot of drive for this. You've been very driven for this goal, okay? Uh, you've made decisions that have moved you forward, okay? Into your Ten of Pentacles. You're going to get a lot of money out of whatever new beginning this is, whether this be a partnership or whether this be a creative endeavor. Uh, you're going to get a lot of money out of it, okay? Knight of Wands, and it's going to come to you very quickly, okay? Queen of Swords, this is the truth. It says, Confident and logical, clarity and intellect. So you already know that this is coming because you are already intellectual enough to realize what's going on around you, I suppose. Seven of Swords, you know there's been deceit around you in the past. Five of Swords, aggression and battles. Yeah, you've had to deal with people fighting you over this and it's caused you a lot of anxiety. Page of Wands, but you've always looked forward. You've always looked ahead and that's what's gotten you through this, okay? You let go of past things that didn't serve you anymore. You're now going forward to things that will serve you, okay? This is what you're manifesting in, and this is the truth. I'm telling the truth. So, okay. Let me read what that says. It says, mental clarity and divine truth. Yeah. Victory and wisdom. So, okay. That is your read. Uh, I hope that it helped in some sort of way. Like I said, it could be about love. It could be about something that you love, you know, like a project or something. Either way, it involves love, whatever it is. And, um, yeah, and I love you guys, and I'm thankful that you let me read for you, and I appreciate all the likes and the views and everything. Um, hopefully I'm connecting with whoever I'm meant to connect with. Uh, I pray about it every day, so I don't, you know, tread lightly when it comes to this kind of stuff, okay? I don't. But I love you all very much. Thank you for watching my video. I will be back later, okay? Mwah.